kazi ni kazi brought to you by the ministry of industrialization the ministry of industrialization tunaimarisha viwanda iwana nchi wenye bidi hawachoki kutafuta riziki zao usinicheke naendeleza gurudumu la maendeleo While most people know fish as a delicacy of high nutritional value, little is known about its use in leather processing industry. And as stakeholders seek ways to enhance growth and exploit the local fishing industry, the Kenya Industrial Research Development Institute has discovered another side to fish. Exotic fish leather is the new development. A technology aimed at creating a sustainable source of raw materials for processed and semi-processed leather goods Fish leather processing is expected to spark growth and defend the leather industry in Kenya. Our aim is a niche market. There are a lot of demands export which we are aiming at in the Italian market and the Spanish market. There are some inquiries also from China which we are trying to export. The project which is still at initial stages is expected to have huge economic impact once it becomes fully operational. But even before the fish leather initiative gains momentum, its impact is already being felt. It's late afternoon at Obunga Beach in Kisumu. A group of fish mongers, mainly women, skin fish from their humble working space. The fish leather chain starts from the lake. The fish is sold to the fish processors. The fish processors uh, remove the fillet and the skin well, and other products. Then in the value chain, the skins together with the other byproducts are sold to artisanal fish processors. Now the skins are sold to leather processors. Leather processors are mainly the tanners, the tanneries, where the skins are processed and passed on to leather goods manufacturers. The processed leather is then designed as per the customer's wish. There are various designs and from the designs they develop patterns. These patterns they are the ones which are used to produce the item which is required. What eventually comes out from a material that would otherwise be discarded as waste are unique leather goods ranging from shoes, handbags, belts, wallets and folders among other items. Most of our, 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 our customers here are those uh, leather goods manufacturers who are exporting, who are aiming at niche market. So there are ladies who come here collect the leather, the leather, they make it to leather goods, sandals, and they export. Besides providing opportunities for the locals to make a living, the fish leather project is playing a significant role in promoting the country's tourism sector. Before this project came into operation, a skin was just thrown away. Others were used as firewood. And then when the project came in, it can now be bought. Then you don't have to kill a wild animal. Instead of using a leather from the snake, we alternate. it. You can have in a market a leather from the fish, which are comparable. But in order to sustain this project and exploit the industry fully, the Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute has embarked on a mission to empower local investors to adopt this technology. We have gone to the women folk or artisan, artisan of these processors, we have taught them how to remove the flesh or the meat, how to, to preserve by putting salt or ice so that by the time the skins reach the tannery, they are well preserved. The stakeholders believe it will be one way forward towards achieving the country's development plan. Vision 2030 is an, it is to one's improvement of our economy. And by this value addition, 
you are putting a lot and you are improving the economy in terms of also poverty eradication. If you go to those people, those women who are dealing with the fish, the so-called at sea no fish processors, once the project comes in, you can see to empower them financially. Kazi ni kazi. We shall be very much welcoming the investors on this project, being a foreigner, being a local, so that together we can fully exploit our local fish level. Kazi ni kazi. Brought to you by the Ministry of Industrialization. The Ministry of Industrialization. Tunai Marisha. Viwanda. Iwana nchi, wenye bidi, hawachoki kutafuta riziki zao. Usiniche.